So whether it's homework or creative writing or AI artwork or code, the community is actually quite mimetic in that we learn from seeing each other do it. So we put this right in the app. You can share your prompts, you can share your art, it's super, super fun. We've really been enjoying prototyping this because it makes the experience a lot more creative and a lot more social. What if your next best friend isn't human, but an AI that already knows your favorite music, your travel bucket list, and even what memes make you laugh? Well, that future just arrived. Meta, the company behind Facebook and Instagram, has officially launched its own AI assistant app, and it's not just another chatbot. It's designed to challenge the giants. ChatGPT from OpenAI and Google Gemini, built on their powerful new Llama 4 model, this app promises to be smarter, more personal, and more social than anything Meta has done before. In this video, we'll explore what this new Meta AI app can really do, how it stacks up against its rivals, and why this could be a turning point in the AI assistant race. So, is this the beginning of a smarter, more personal digital future? Let's find out. So, what exactly is Meta's new AI app, and why is everyone comparing it to ChatGPT and Google Gemini? Meta AI isn't entirely new. It's been quietly running behind the scenes across apps like WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, and Messenger since late 2023. But until now, it was just a feature, tucked into your feed or chat box. That changes today. Meta just launched a standalone Meta AI app, a full experience where your personal AI lives in one place. Think of it as your very own assistant, always ready to chat, generate images, answer questions, or even talk to you out loud. And powering it? Llama 4-Meta's latest and most advanced language model. It's designed to go head-to-head -head with OpenAI's GPT-4 and Google's Gemini, offering not just intelligence, but a deeper level of personalization. What makes it different? This isn't just an app that gives generic responses. Meta AI learns from your profile, your interests, and even the content you engage with on Facebook and Instagram. That means it can tailor its answers based on what it already knows about you, something no other AI assistant is currently doing at this scale. And unlike other assistants that feel robotic or limited, this one is built to be social, conversational, and always available. Whether you're typing or talking, now let's dive into what really makes this new Meta AI app stand out, its features and experience. Because Meta isn't just launching a chatbot, they're redefining how we interact with AI. First off, the app is designed around voice-first interaction. Yes, you can still type, but Meta wants you to talk to your AI, just like you would with a real friend. It's powered by a full duplex voice demo, which means the AI doesn't wait for you to finish speaking before responding. It can actually listen and talk at the same time, making the conversation feel fast, natural, and surprisingly human. And this isn't just text-to-speech. The AI generates its voice responses in real time using a model trained on human dialogue not just reading out written responses. It feels like you're actually chatting with someone who gets you. Meta AI can also generate and edit images, not just using text commands, but now through voice conversations. Want a picture of a purple sunset with neon trees? Just say it and it'll create it instantly. Need to tweak the mood, lighting, or color? The AI can adjust all that too. All this can be done while multitasking, no hands needed. Now let's talk personalization. Unlike ChatGPT or Google Gemini, which start from scratch every time unless you set up memory manually, Meta AI taps into the entire Meta ecosystem. If you've ever liked a travel post, commented on a recipe, or followed a fitness page, the AI can use that to craft more relevant answers. It remembers what you care about. You can even tell it things you want it to remember, like your favorite vacation spot or your career goals. Over time, it becomes a context-aware assistant that adapts to your lifestyle. But it's not just an app on your phone. Meta AI is also integrated with Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses. Imagine this, you're walking down the street wearing your glasses and you start a voice conversation with your AI assistant. Then later at home, you pick up that same conversation inside the Meta AI app or on your desktop. The transition is seamless. You can even view your full conversation history across platforms. And yes, it's not just mobile. Meta AI now works on the web too. The desktop version offers voice interaction, an upgraded image generation panel, and even a discover feed, a new place where users can share cool prompts and see how others are using their AI creatively. Speaking of the Discover feed, it's a subtle but powerful addition. You can remix shared prompts, explore creative ideas, and even share your own. It's like social media meets AI innovation, and you're always in control. Nothing gets posted unless you choose to share it. For now, some of these features, like the full voice conversation and image editing, are available only in select countries, the United States, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. But Meta plans to expand access as the app evolves. And don't worry if you're already using Meta's Ray-Ban smart glasses. The old Meta View app is being 
merged into the Meta AI app. Your settings, devices, and media will transfer automatically, no extra steps required. So whether you're on the go, at your desk, or wearing smart glasses, Meta AI is literally wherever you are. This isn't just another AI assistant, it's a complete AI ecosystem, personal, connected, and built to move with you across your digital life. Now that we know what the Meta AI app can do, let's zoom out and look at the bigger picture, Meta's strategy, and how it's positioning itself in the red-hot battle between OpenAI's ChatGPT, Google's Gemini, and now Meta AI. To understand this move, we need to look at the AI landscape today. In less than two years, OpenAI's ChatGPT went from a niche tool to a global phenomenon. Millions of people use it to write, brainstorm, solve problems, or even just chat. Google quickly responded with Gemini, their AI-powered search and assistant experience. Both companies have baked AI into their ecosystems, and they're not slowing down. So where does Meta fit into all this? Until recently, Meta was playing more of a background role in the AI space, experimenting with models, quietly embedding AI across Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. But launching a standalone Meta AI app, that's a loud, calculated move to enter the ring with serious intent and they've come with a weapon of their own, Llama 4, Meta's most powerful large language model yet. Llama 4 is designed to match or even exceed the capabilities of GPT-4 and Gemini in areas like reasoning, multilingual understanding, and performance efficiency. But here's the twist. While OpenAI and Google are focusing on general-purpose AI, Meta is leaning into personalized, context-aware AI. And that's a game-changer. Meta already owns the world's largest social graph. It knows what you like, what you watch, where you've been, who you talk to, and even what kind of posts make you stop scrolling. Now, it's taking all that data, with your permission, and using it to power an AI assistant that feels like it knows you. That's something ChatGPT and Gemini can't do, at least not at this scale. This personalization isn't just a gimmick, it's a strategic advantage. Think about it. While ChatGPT gives great general answers, and Gemini can search the web and link to services, Meta AI offers emotionally intelligent responses tailored to your life. It knows your preferences, habits, and even your humor. That level of familiarity creates a stronger bond between user and assistant, and that's exactly what Meta wants. But Meta isn't stopping at personal AI. They're aiming to make AI social. With the Discover feed inside the Meta AI app, users can see how others are using AI, share prompts, remix ideas, and create a kind of community around AI engagement. That's a bold shift from private AI tools like ChatGPT, which are often used solo. Meta wants its AI to feel like part of your social experience, not just a tool, but a presence that exists across your digital world. Let's also talk platforms. OpenAI's ChatGPT is web-based and app-based. Google Gemini is deeply embedded into Android, Gmail, and Search. Meta, on the other hand, is weaving AI into everything. Smart glasses, mobile apps, web interfaces, and even future XR platforms. The goal? Ubiquity. Meta wants you to live with your AI, whether you're chatting while walking down the street with Ray-Bans or generating documents from your laptop. Now there's also a monetization strategy at play. While the app is currently free, Meta plans to roll out a paid subscription for advanced AI features later this year. According to sources, this won't drive major revenue immediately, but it's part of a long-term vision, one where Meta AI evolves into a premium productivity and creativity companion. And to rally developers around this vision, Meta is hosting its first-ever AI developer event called LlamaCon, focused entirely on the Llama family of models. That signals a deep commitment to not just competing in the AI space, but shaping its future, building tools, ecosystems, and developer communities around their technology. Let's be honest, Meta is betting big here. They're entering a race already dominated by two giants, but they're bringing something unique, intelligent plus social connection. And in an age where people crave more personalized experiences, that combination could be exactly what sets Meta AI apart. So the real question is, can Meta turn its massive social empire into the foundation for the world's most personal AI? It's no longer science fiction. With this new app, they've already started. So there you have it. Meta has officially stepped into the AI battlefield, not just with another chatbot, but with a personalized voice-enabled AI assistant that could change how we interact with technology. With Llama 4 at its core, deep integration across Facebook, Instagram, and even smart glasses, and a growing set of powerful tools, Meta isn't just trying to catch up, they're aiming to reshape the entire AI experience. But the big question is, will people actually switch? Will Meta's personalized approach be enough to rival ChatGPT's raw intelligence or Google Gemini's deep integration into search and productivity? Let me know what you think. Which AI assistant do you trust more? Meta AI, ChatGPT, or Google Gemini? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, hit that like button, subscribe for more updates on AI and tech, and don't forget to tap the notification bell so you never miss what's coming next. Thanks for watching. See you in the future.